Hi, my name is Charlotte Harrington, LLMSW or Limited Licensed Master of Social Work at Stillwaters Counseling. Today's video is about outdoor mindfulness activities for kids. So first of all, what is mindfulness? I like to describe it as the state of being mindful, focused, or present. Typically, people's minds are racing and we're constantly busy, even during the pandemic. Mindfulness is taking a moment to actually calm and still your mind and have more control of your thoughts, slowing them down. So why would mindfulness be important to do outside? There are many, many benefits to being outside, including digestive system, blood pressure, heart rate, um, happiness, immune system, lung health, more energy, and a sharper mind. So when you combine the two, you can't lose. I found a really cool blog when I was preparing for this video. It's called mamawildandfree.com, and she had four ideas that I really liked for calming your mind, slowing it down, and being present in nature for kids. The first one is called color matching. So if you have color swaps like this somewhere in your home, I apologize, there you go, um, you can use those. And if you don't have the capacity to get out to a hardware store or somewhere else and pick some up, you can create them your, on your own by taking colored pencils or another drawing um, utensil and doing different shades of colors. For younger kids, you can simply take, say, the orange one and just match it to anything orange. But for a more advanced um, way to do this activity, you can look at each individual shade and compare. This takes time and concentration and is a way of focusing the mind in a mindful way. The next activity she had is rock stacking or balancing. Um, that's something that can be really cool. Here's an example of that. Um, but what it says is that after you do it, they recommend dismantling the rock stacks because Leave No Trace Behind, one of those rules for national parks and other nature areas, wants it to look like no one has been there before. But this is a really cool activity to take your kids to a dry riverbed or somewhere with a variety of rocks, even maybe at home, outside in your own yard, and let them practice stacking and balancing, and it gives them um, engineering practice as well as mindfulness at the same time. Um, another activity is to just simply find a nice spot on the grass, lay down, and look up at the clouds and see what shapes you can find. Finally, the last idea is to go and sit outside somewhere, close your eyes, and listen and see what noises you can hear. A more advanced version of this is to create a sound map where you actually draw where you are with an X and then listen for all the different sounds. For example, my window's open, so perhaps you can hear the birds or the rain, and you would write the different things that you hear, and that is a really great way of clearing the mind. So finally today, I have this book called Mindful Games that I bought when I attended a yoga workshop that really focused on mindfulness. And one thing that I use with my clients a lot is called counting breaths. Um, so if you'd like to try this, I will lead it right now. Sit with your back straight and body relaxed, resting your hands gently on your knees. Breathe in naturally and silently say one in your mind and relax your forehead as you breathe out. Let's do it again. Breathe in naturally and silently say two in your mind. Then relax your neck and shoulders as you breathe out. Now breathe in silently and say three in your mind and relax your stomach as you breathe out. Let's try it again, but this time I'm not going to talk. Sink your breath to my hand motions, counting silently on your own. Don't forget to relax as you breathe out. Ready? Did your mind get quiet when you were counting breaths? Did you feel relaxed? How long did it take? Did your mind get busy again or did it stay quiet? So this is a great activity from this book that you can try while you're outside or anywhere. It's a great way to calm your mind and help it relax. I hope that today's video was helpful and I hope that you are excited to try out some of these strategies. Please leave us a comment for any other mindful activities that you've done with your family outside. Thank you and stay safe. Bye.